Our exclusive political analysts are joining us now. Former Republican State House Majority Leader Adam Hasner, along with former Democratic U.S. Congressman Ron Klein. Thank you, gentlemen, for being here. Ron, we're going to start with you. The new Bloomberg poll out today shows Patrick Murphy is tied with Marco Rubio when it comes to Hispanic voters. How has he closed the gap? But we also know that that poll also showed Rubio ahead by like 10 points. Yeah, well, I, I think, first of all, that, that poll is, is uh, what they call an outlier, uh, showing that kind of disparity. I think the, the race is a lot closer, and I think both, both parties recognize that the race is close and probably will be determined uh, by the top of the ticket and how uh, both Hillary and uh, Donald Trump perform in Florida. Uh, it's a close race, and uh, the Hispanic votes are an important part of, uh, of this uh, constituency. Uh, there are lots of different factors that play into it. Marco obviously comes from that background, but there are a lot of other issues, including Marco's background, how he's positioned himself uh, on Donald Trump, and how he's positioned himself in general on wanting to serve or not wanting to serve. I think those will be the big issues. Mm -hmm. Well, Adam, that same poll shows Rubio winning men by 11 points, women by 8 points. That's a pretty healthy lead. Why do you think Rubio hasn't been able to pull away as much? Well, I do think this is one of those few polls that does show him up by double digits. Uh, most of the polls have this as a two to five point race. Uh, I think the fact of the Hispanic community is that it's not monolithic. You have a very diverse Hispanic community throughout the state of Florida, the Cuban community, as well as the uh, South American community in South Florida. But in Central Florida, you have the Puerto Rican community. They're not the same. Uh, and then you have that divide between younger generation and older generation of Hispanic. I think Marco's doing an outstanding job right now of, of running a campaign on his own. And I think that what we're seeing in the polling right now is from that first debate and since is that he's been able to break away a little bit from the Trump campaign and really identify himself as running his own race. Okay, quickly, this is to both of you. Tonight's debate likely the last time these two will meet. So what issue do they have to really knock out of the park? Well, I, I think, I think uh, Patrick is a pragmatic guy. He has to make, they make that case. He can also show that both the uh, Miami Herald, Marco's local newspaper, the Sun Sentinel, Palm Beach Post have all endorsed Patrick Murphy. And I think there's a reason for that. They're very specific as to the fact that he's a pragmatic guy. He wants the job. He will serve in the job. Um, and Mr. Rubio just has uh, shown the opposite. Adam? Well, I think Murphy needs a knockout. I think Marco just needs to show poise, show his knowledge on the issues. And then I think he's going to go on the offensive. I think he's going to tie Murphy again to the failed Obama-Clinton policies of Obamacare, the Iran deal, raising taxes, more regulations. And so I think you're going you're to see him tonight make sure uh, that he stays on offense and that he doesn't allow Murphy to try to do what he did in the first debate. All right, Adam and Ron, thank you both for being here. And gentlemen, you will be here throughout the night watching the debate with us and back for our hour-long special. A reminder.